welcome to our novena to the holy spirit day 6 fortitude let us begin this novena with the hymn come holy ghost Stephen filled with the holy spirit gazed into heaven and saw the glory of god and jesus standing at god's right hand look i can see heaven thrown open he said and the son of man standing at the right hand of god all the members of the council shouted out and stopped their ears with their hands then they made a concerted rush at him thrust him out of the city and stoned him the witnesses put down their clothes at the feet of a young man called Saul as they were stoning him stephen said in invocation lord jesus receive my spirit then he knelt down and said aloud lord do not hold this sin against them and with these words he fell asleep
if the gift of counsel teaches us how to act then fortitude is the gift which gives us the strength to carry out those actions it is often called courage but it is different from much of what we think of as courage today for it does not lead us to seek danger for danger's sake it is not foolishness or recklessness bravado or provocation no it is the gift which allows us firstly to recognize when it is right to make a stand to put our head above the parapet and then to overcome fear and to remain steady in the face of opposition am i prepared to take a risk for god fortitude is the laying down of human weapons and defenses so that we can put god's armor like david before goliath prayer come o spirit of fortitude calm our fears strengthen us in our weakness sustain us in times of trial and adversity so that we may give faithful witness to your glory amen renew your wonders in this our day and by a new pentecost grant to your church that being of one mind and steadfast in prayer with mary the mother of jesus on following the lead of blessed peter it may advance the reign of our divine savior the reign of truth and justice the reign of love and peace amen Come Holy Spirit fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love send forth your spirit and they shall be created and you will renew the face of the earth let us pray O God who by the light of the holy spirit did instruct the hearts of your faithful grant that by that same holy spirit we may be truly wise and ever rejoice in your consolation through christ our lord amen in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen